Hi, my name is Jonathan Ray here at Richard Carlton Consulting, and this is a quick walkthrough video on how to install the LaTeX engine on your local computer. You'll see that I have my FileMaker LaTeX example pulled up in front of me, and we'll be using this file throughout the process. For written instructions, in addition to this video, you can always come here to the example file, click on the instructions popover, and read the instructions too. All right, let's close this. Our first step, we'll pull up a web browser, and we'll type in latex-project.org slash get, G-E-T. And you should be seeing a page that looks like this. For Mac users, you will click on this hyperlink here, Mac Tech. For Windows, you'll click on this Tech Live link. This link above it will work as well, but I've personally tested the Tech Live link and can confirm that it works. Because we're on a Mac in this example, we'll click on Mac Tech. And on this hyperlink here, named Mac Tech Download. One more step in the process, Mac Tech dot PKG stands for package and the download should start. You'll notice that it's 3.42 gigabytes, and so we won't make you wait that full five minutes here. I'm going to enter my time machine real quick, and I'll meet you on the other side. Now that we've downloaded our MacTech distribution package, I'm going to go ahead and close this web browser window and double-click on the package itself, and we will start the installation process. You'll notice a standard installer here, and we will just step through the process, clicking continue all the way, agree. And now the software is being installed. Now that we've successfully installed our MacTech installation package, let's go ahead and close the window. And then what I'm going to do is open up that application that was just installed. You'll find if you're on a Mac, that a folder named tech, T-E-X, has been inserted into the Applications folder. What we'll want to do is click on this application called Tech Live Utility that just got installed. I can go ahead and close this window. And you should see a window like this popping up, Tech Live Utility. And you can click Do Not Show This Message Again, Enable, and you'll need to authenticate with your password. The next step in the process, you'll want to click on the Packages tab in the middle here, and the Tech Live utility will start downloading all the related packages. And this could take up to an hour, it could take more than that. So you probably want to go ahead and go get a coffee right now and wait till it finishes. All right, and after we wait a couple seconds, you should see this dialog telling you that there are a lot of packages that need to be updated, and in this instance, they need to be just installed altogether. We'll hit Update, and then we will sit back and wait for a while. Great, now that the update has finished, you should see a screen like this where it says Update Succeeded, and maybe a dialog box that will pop up alerting you to the fact as well. All right, so we are almost there. Let's close out of Tech Live Utility, and we're back in our FileMaker example file. You'll click on the instructions popover, and you'll see this little box down here. It's techdocuments.zip. Right-click that. We're going to export the field contents to our desktop. You can see that I've selected desktop here, and save. And we can click the close popover button, and open the tech documents zip file. And you'll notice that here is the tech documents folder with all the various sample files that this FileMaker LaTeX example includes. Okay, so each example file is going to have a couple things in it. It'll have a bash file named makePDF, and then also a tech file, and the .tex extension stands for LaTeX. And so every time you click the Create PDF button, it's going to take this LaTeX raw code here and create a .tex document in that corresponding folder. And then it's going to tell the LaTeX engine that we just installed on our computer to create a PDF with that code. That means that any time that you modify this code and you modify the template, so to speak, it will be reflected 
in that PDF that is produced. So we're going to start with this Dapper Invoice example, and I'm going to go ahead and click Create PDF. You can see that the terminal pops up, and then the terminal closes when it's done processing. And you can see that FileMaker told the LaTeX engine to generate this PDF. It pops up automatically. I will note that on the Windows machine, currently it's set up a little bit differently, and I'm going to go into scripts to show you that. So there's just one script in this whole file, and it says if get system platform equals one, meaning if it's a Mac, then perform an Apple script that says tell that bash file to execute or to create the PDF. But if it's a Windows machine that you're running this on, then it will do a send event. So it's telling the command prompt to run the process. And if you're on a Windows machine, it will not open the PDF automatically. You'll have to go into that folder and open it up yourself. That can always be modified and changed around. It's just that this particular example file doesn't open it automatically. All right, and that will do it for the FileMaker LaTeX demo. Hope you enjoy.